All right. Hey, everybody. It's Adrienne again. It is the day after my two level cervical disc replacement. I survived. I had my surgery yesterday morning at about 7 a.m. It was a two and a half hour surgery. Um, they went in and did two discs, C4, 5, and 5, 6, and um, it is evening. It's about 8 o'clock now the following day. I, I think I did pretty well. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, you know, it's only been about, I don't know the math, what, 36 hours or something, a day and a half. Um, but they had me up. It was an outpatient procedure. I stayed in the hospital four hours after, and I was home by like three o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. Um, I was a little nauseous, you know, from just anesthesia, but I never got sick. I was able to eat some applesauce, and um, I'm sticking with the mushy foods for now, just just for comfort. Um, I definitely um, have soreness um, in my neck. I mean, I have the bandage here that I have to leave on for another day or so. Um, I went with the pigtails because then I could keep my hair out of the back, so I could I have. Um, have some ice going just for comfort. It's not it's not too bad, but it does help. Um, but um, so yeah, I I I don't want to jinx anything, but so far I've been able to eat, and this is pretty much my normal speaking voice. I was a little groggy and tired yesterday. I have a really bad like looped out sleepy video that I may or may not post. Um, it's not very informative. It's just my mom and husband talking to me about wh what happened. But, um, uh, so yeah, I, um, I, I definitely have pain to swallow, but it's not knock on wood. Oh, I hope it doesn't change. It's not a sore throat. It's muscle like pulling. Like when I, when everything, the mechanism to swallow happens, everything kind of pulls. So it's uncomfortable, but it's not the lump and like the obstruction, like it can't swallow. It just gets sore and tired. So I've been here in the good old recliner, um, cause that's what other people recommended and that's worked okay for me because I can get up. Um, I've walked, um, just with my husband, I walked down outside, down, you know, the past the house next door and get the mail and because they say to stay up, keep walking, keep moving. I Even if I'm sitting, I'm kind of pumping my feet and ankles rolling, stuff like that. I take myself to the bathroom, to the kitchen, um, things like that. I've, I've still kind of kept it easy eating soup and some liquid nutrition ensure, um, water and popsicles and stuff just for just for comfort um it hasn't been too bad if I talk too long my voice will get tired so I probably won't make too long of a video today but they said they were able to do the two discs um they weren't sure if that was going to be possible just from my anatomy but he he thought it would be okay um I had spinal stenosis because of my herniations so I still have definitely have some hyperreflexia in my my knees especially my patellar tendons um I have now that I've woken up I've been finding throughout the day all these little probe sites that I don't know if you can see that bruise um they put little probes all along everywhere on all my nerves to monitor me while I was in surgery so I was glad they did that but now I'm finding all these little pinpricks that I didn't wasn't expecting but um I mean, overall, I'm surviving. I'm, I mean, I've never had surgery before. And so that was like just surreal. I kept saying yesterday, I can't believe I did it. <laughs> like it was so, I was so scared, so nervous, never had surgery, never had anesthesia, nothing like that. So, um, 
I just kind of wanted to post an update. I know I saw a lot of videos. I know this, this is just like craziness right now, but it's real life. I, um, I'm not supposed to shower yet or get this wet for another day or so. So this'll be, <laughs> this'll be me. Um, but, um, definitely girls, if you have long hair, think about the pigtails because I also have a soft collar that I can wear, um, for comfort if I need it. So getting that Velcroed and stuff, it just helps to keep your hair out of the way. So we went with the pigtails last night. Um, I hope I continue to have a good night tonight and sleep. Um, I've been taking ibuprofen and Tylenol off and on. Um, I had a Valium throughout the day yesterday and I may take one again tonight to help s just calm and sleep, but, um, definitely pain, but, um, if I'm just sitting still, I, I don't have a lot of just like throbbing stationary pain. Um, and there's not a lot to help with the pulling. It's just the incision and the, the surgery site, but, um, I don't want to jinx anything and have it get worse, but I'm, I'm hopeful since I'm 36 hours out that I'll continue to get better. Um, but yeah, if you guys are considering this or if you, um, are worried about your, your neck or your back or whatever happens to be the problem, just, um, definitely consult a surgeon, find a good surgeon that you feel comfortable with. Um, and don't let it get worse because it's not, it's not going to get better on its own, especially if you're pinching on your spinal cord, your spinal cord can't take that for too long. Um, I had neck pain since the summer, but I never, I never related it. I just thought it was, you know, slept funny or was overusing it or whatever. And finally had the numbness start. And, um, I had the surgery within three months of that numbness starting. So if you can, I think the best prognosis is when you can get it taken care of early. Um, I still am, I haven't, I'm not supposed to have another consult with the surgeon till I'm four weeks out, about a month from surgery, just to kind of let things calm down and heal and see how things change. And if, if my weakness gets better and my reflexes become a little more normal, but, um, this is where I'm at today. Um, we'll see how it goes. Just hopefully you guys have, um, can have good support. Sorry if it's shaky. I'm holding it with a hand that's tired, but, um, anyway, um, no huge symptoms luckily to report. Definitely expect the soreness, but, um, I'm grateful that I'm able to talk and eat. Um, I haven't tried anything major, like I said, but, um, just keeping it simple with mushy foods, liquids, and keeping the water, I think drinking and keeping things moving often will help too. So, um, I'll keep you posted throughout the rest of the, um, recovery process. Um, these videos were really helpful for me when I was going through mine. I will tell you, I was so, so, so nervous beforehand and now I'm so glad that it's over. I know I still have recovery to do and I can't be a hundred percent sure that it's worked or that it's, you know, going to solve all my problems, but at least we've got the pressure off my spinal cord and the hope is that it will recover. So, um, yeah, I hope that this helps you guys. Let me know in the comments, I guess, if you have questions, um, and I'll try to keep you posted. So like I said, this is, this is about 36 hours post op, um, roughly. My surgery was yesterday morning and this is eight o'clock in the evening. I'm going to try to, um, eat something and get some more sleep and see how I feel in the morning. So that is all for today. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.